Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Always Podcast. Today, man, this is one of the ones we, we enjoy doing. This internal podcast today. Uh, we're going to be going over a lot of different stuff, man. What, what are we going to be going over, guys? Let them know. Fuck, we got a lot, actually. We got some real estate stuff. We're going to talk about some Josh Altman. Uh, if you guys don't know who Josh Altman is, million dollar listing guy, uh, we got to go to a master class for him, which was fucking badass. Got to see like $40 million homes, uh, which is not something you do every day. Some people don't even do it a single day in their life. So that was really awesome. Um, and we got a lot of shit, man. We're even going to get into Hezbollah getting arrested, which, hey, free to boy, free to boy. That's hey. the one you had to mention? You had to mention that topic? I mean, you know, free the How man. You, free you, him. How do you expect me and Dan to keep it together? Homie, you did shit. You're saying free the boy over here. And wouldn't the black guy say free the homie? I'm just saying. Uh, we're, we're, this is gonna, all going to get cut. <laughs> we're going to be, gonna be cut, tested. Yeah. That fake going to be tested. <laughs> well, today, man, we're going to be going over a lot of different topics today. And most importantly, man, some stuff we're going to be going over is crazy, never before heard. So make sure you stick until the end. And uh, you might have some breaking news towards the end, man. So we'll see you at the end. Yes, sir. So first of all, dude, I, I want to get started with the Josh Altman experience. Uh, we went down to the to the master class and was in L.A., um, maybe talk about talk about what it was like to be part of that master class with Josh Altman. Yeah, Josh Altman master class was definitely a ten out of ten experience, bro. It was kind of something that I've been to a lot of masterminds and I've been to a lot of different events, business events, and that one was just a thousand percent learning, bro. A thousand percent learning. Everything was hands on. Um, we went into it as rookies into the real estate game, where we've never really got into real estate before this, so that was our brand new experience and. It's crazy, bro, because you see these people on TV. You see them they have their own TV show. They're, they're really big. They really don't have to throw any events anymore, right? Like, that's not really their thing anymore. They don't have to do it. But it's kind of cool, bro. He took us out to three of his multi-million dollar properties. One of them was like $60 million. Jesus Christ. Sales price was crazy. Um, and on top of that, bro, he was just a super cool guy. Like, he, we asked him a lot of questions. His mm -hmm. whole team was really nice. Um, sometimes when you go to events, bro, their teams can be kind of like standoffish or maybe just not want to share as much. We're just kind of standing office. Trying and, to gatekeep on you, huh? Yeah. And like, for this tell you some of the stuff, but not everything. Yeah. And for this one, bro, he was like, I mean, I don't know, Dan can kind of explain more, but every time we talked to him, super cool guy. We, we literally had like a cocktail hour where we networked with him. He came up to us and he was like, coolest guy, bro. Like, I don't know. We, we didn't really mention it too much there, but that's always, that, that's, that was always my like, my guy wanted to meet, bro. Like more than the rock. Were you starstruck on this? I, I was. How'd I'm you feel? All right, so I meeting, was. So let's let's get in that. How'd you feel when you first saw him? Like, what was that for? You get the little butterflies or what? Bro, I did get but it was like a first date kind of butterflies, bro. Oh, like, damn, not okay. That, but like, <laughs> but hey, I don't blame you though. But okay, so this is one, someone you always wanted to meet. So this is someone, bro. That literally, mind you, when I got into entrepreneurship seven years ago, this was the guy that I was like. Like his charisma, his charm that he has, his his network he has, like kind everything. of built your game after him a little bit, huh? There's always that one person yeah. like that's where I want to get to. Build your game after yep. a little bit, not copy, but you know what I mean. That's good. So how was it? Did you were you actually starstruck, or were you able to like keep it cool? I I think I kept it cool a little bit. I mean, did Danny he keep it cool, Danny? Yeah, dude. Uh, honestly, dude. I mean, it's it's kind of crazy because like I mean, hindsight thinking about it, um, at the time you at the time like you go in there right and like Josh Hallman for like a little bit more context, like he's literally like the premier fucking luxury real estate fucking sales guy in the world um like he sold homes to like kim kardashian and julius edelman like dude literally one of his things like the list of celebrities you see like as previous clients is fucking crazy so that guy he's used to dealing in like 10 15 20 30 40 50 80 million dollar homes um and he's a fucking dog i mean the reason why he's been number one for like a decade or something like that is you know because he, that guy fucking he's about his business and sometimes like in the like in the entrepreneurship world or like i think any world you know you go to certain events and you're hoping to meet that person that you've been looking up to or like that you model your game after you learn from and sometimes you meet them dude and they're not really fucking what they portray on social media that glass like gets shattered huh yeah dude and it's like you're not nearly what i thought you were <laughs> no dude and and the, and some people like sometimes you meet people are like that and you're like oh fuck like and you're kind of disappointed, you know, but him, dude, mm -hmm. he's what you fucking see is what you get. So I think it's pretty cool because uh, I do know that I've been to other events where some people that are like have this persona on fucking social media. Uh -huh. You go over there, do you see him? And you're like, ah, dude, you're not that fucking guy, you know, in person. Uh, man, name drop. You know, there could be a middling things, you know. But, name drop right uh, now. I'm not going to name drop. Yeah, but, <laughs> There's uh, someone I had in mind, too. One yeah. of his little Instagram names back in the day. Bro, but, but the, the crazy part about it, too, is this guy's like not just a social media influencer. He has his own TV show. Mm. Oh, Bravo shit. TV show. It's, I think, 14 seasons in the making. This guy's been on a lot of those seasons. So it's really like Half a, my life, basically. Bro, like a celebrity TV star doing his thing, actually doing real shit in business and, and took the time to kind of take, out, take us out, show us the ropes. So what attend, was bro. some of like the information you guys like, uh, not necessarily retained, but what's some of the big nuggets that you guys kept a little bit? And real quick, man, before we continue, uh, I just want to quick, a quick shout out to our brand new sponsor, 
ghost energy. You know the boys, man? We fucking drink these things like water every single day. Uh, so we're really proud, man, that ghost hit us up. And, of course, man, we liked in the deal. So that's why you see the ghosts all over the place, baby. So shout out to Ghost, man. Um, I can't say any other names anymore. So you'll definitely see me drinking Ghost from now on. Shout out to Ghost. And we're back to it, baby. Um, some of the big nuggets, dude. I mean, I would say, dude, that it's um. I, I want to. I want to say something without giving too much away of like our fucking strategy. But fucking uh, I would say, um, uh, well, I mean, it wasn't a fucking cheap ticket. I'll tell you that. Um, so, and he doesn't really do them, dude. And the team, like, it was a really small amount of people, so you had to get selected to go. But um, I, I would say, dude, the biggest thing is just, like, what I always get from going to events like that is that you fucking see somebody doing it, and it kind of gives you, like, oh, fuck, this fucking guy's doing it. You know what I mean? Because we met a lot of cool people, dude. And some people are doing, like, big things in real estate all over the world because you have mm -hmm. to meet people from all over the world. But you meet them, and you're like, damn, like, if they're doing it, so can I. Not in a disrespectful way, but you're, like, just, you, you look at them, and you're like, fuck, like, okay, I can do this, too. You know, if they're, mm -hmm. they're doing it, dude, there's for sure I can fucking do it. So I think that's one of the biggest things that we came back with was, like, we saw some people, and we're like, damn, these guys are fucking high players. Like, we're not, or the gap is not really that big. You know, it's what I mean? almost, it really gets rid of like that imposter syndrome, if you mm. will, where, like, you know what? I do belong in this room. I earned it in here. And it, it does make the world's difference when you have that, too. Bro, because it, it was, we definitely had that a little bit in the beginning. Like, mm. whenever we first walked in the room, we drove up and it was supposed to be like an entry night, cocktail. We thought it was going to be like at a bar or something, you know? Uh -huh. Bro, like, this was at a $20 million house. God we damn. rolled up. We were going through the hills, and I was like, bro, I don't think it's at a bar, bro. Like, it's, it's at one of these, like, big man LA mansion houses. Mm -hmm. And when we showed up, we showed the up. windy roads. Bro. Up there, up that hill. It was. The higher up that hill you get, the more expensive those houses are. It is, dude. Uh-huh. So we walked in. As soon as we walked in, everyone looked at us like, these are the Mexican kids that fit out. Like, dude, they, we, like, we didn't fit in. And, and, dude, and yeah. to be honest with you, we're the fucking youngest kids there. I think yeah. there was like two, like one, two other guys that were Which there. Which is good, though. Young. That's good. If you're yeah. like that yeah. young and you're in there, it's even better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it was definitely was that, though. That, that's something I forgot, dude. We walked in. I was definitely fucking underdressed, dude. Um, I walked in. It was like cocktail hour at a 20 million dollar fucking home. <laughs> Everyone was like suited up. Daddy had on his like dunks. Like dunks I had my dunks. Hey, I, I was swaggy, bro. I was swaggy. Yeah, you know, I went in there with some fucking class, but. Um, I was definitely not like you know it was it wasn't a black tie event or anything like that, but every there was wearing like they blazers. still they still try they to were put wearing in, suits, yeah. bro. So they were wearing yeah. suits. We rolled up in like kind of semi casual cocktail mm. hour, you know. Okay, no, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. So that was definitely I think the first one we we're like oh fuck like you realize it that because um, there's nothing like that over here to be honest with you like no, here in the Central Valley like you don't go to a twenty million dollar home and deal with people that are fucking doing billions of dollars worth of fucking transactions too often. So uh, it was really cool, dude. Um, it was definitely kind of that thing where. You're like, fuck, like, okay, like, that's a different fucking level, you know? Mm -hmm. So it was cool. Um, but yeah, after that, we fucking we settled in, you know, let the confidence flow. So Yeah, I think that's actually one of the biggest announcements we want. That's kind of one of the reasons why we wanted to do the internal pot today because we, we haven't really announced the new services we're going to be offering. I know a lot of people just know us as mainly the insurance guys. <laughs> we've been offering insurance quite quite some time. Uh, actually, seven years, right? But uh, we're adding some new, uh, like a new branch, a new division at our kind of what we're doing right now, right? And uh, it's kind of the big announcement we wanted to announce as well, right? Yes, sir. So the boys, man, the boys, they're officially getting into the real estate game. We've been in the insurance game for, fuck, I mean, really, really doing it since, like, what, 2018, 2019? Seven years. Seven years, yeah. Um, so now we're going to kind of take that next step. Uh, there's a lot that went into it. You know, we've been thinking about this for, like, about a year now, kind of, like, moving the pieces, like, the legal back end, stuff like that. So now we're ready for it. And now, you know, the boys are they're in the real estate game, man. So you might see million dollar listing fresno million dollar listing by celia coming to you live on on youtube or tiktok or actually every platform we're gonna be in so it's gonna be really cool uh we're gonna have a lot of fun it's something that we both love actually when yeah. we got into entrepreneurship i followed a guy his name is ryan Sarant. uh same thing uh, josh Hoffman just in new york and he followed josh Hoffman, so he kind of put me on yeah so it's kind of cool that's something we've always wanted to get into so uh now we're doing it we, we had a lot of clients asking us past couple of years about where to buy a home who to turn to where to go to, just having no idea where it's to like go. me and now. You go to me. It is. So actually, you know, the funny story is like whenever we first started two weeks ago, right? Two weeks ago, we had one of our longtime clients. He's been one of our clients for six years. And he asked me, he's like, hey, man, dude, like I, I'm looking to sell my house. Do you know any good realtors? Do you know any good people to help me sell my house? And I was like, you know, I think I know a guy. And obviously, like, it's us, you know? So we met him. That's one of our first deals we locked up recently. And, uh, yeah, we're just looking to hit Congrats. the ground running. Man. There you guys go. Dude, honestly, to me, man, is uh, just really show showcasing, like, the fucking badass fucking multi-million dollar homes that we have here in the Valley. Because I feel like a lot of people think of Fresno, like, whatever. And, like, even people that are born here, you know, talk a lot of shit on it. Um, 
But, dude, there is so much fucking cool shit going on here in Fresno. And especially through the real estate game, there's so many buildings, so many people developing really cool projects here. So it's going to be really cool to be a part of that and to showcase that properly, you know, because I feel like right now, you know, like Anthony said, there's a lot of stuff that's being done the old way. And it's not really it's not really servicing well the, 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 the all the cool stuff that we have here in our backyard. So uh, to me, man, that's going to be really exciting. Uh, we have something really fucking cool, like planned in the books. So I, I can't talk about it too much, you know, but uh, you guys will be seeing that soon. So that's going to be cool. Um, I got blue balls now. Thanks. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm already. I'm getting ready. And just buy. <laughs> nah. Whenever you buy your first home, it's not the easiest thing to do, right? I know that like my parents growing up, they always told me, I always asked them, well, why don't you buy your home, right? Their, their response has always been like, it's too hard, not enough money, it costs too much, we don't know where to go. And it was just one of those things, right, where it was a big need, but they didn't really know where to go. And so I feel like for us, I, whenever I first bought my home, it was a big thing, you know? So I want to be that, I want us to be that resource, right? Whether you're young, whether you're older, whether you're middle-aged, married, uh, not married, whatever it is, right? I want to be that resource where we can kind of be able to show them the ropes and say, hey, like, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter where you're at, right? The American dream of buying a home is, it's still alive. That was well, so dude, smooth. Hey, that hey, was hey. so easy. You had that ready right yeah, there. Know, there. There's a little thing under your desk, bro. So if you pull out the pen under your, actually under your, under your chair, there's a thing called a, a sales agreement, bro. You just got to sign it real quick. And got we, you. We'll, we'll get, get you into on. it. <laughs> get you. We come prepared well, to the father. Hey, he's all. We got that shit ready <laughs> right there. Oh, you're, you're, you're right there. You're next eight, though. We're going to need those, those W2s and 1099 soon. Uh, but <laughs> uh, moving on, dude. But you know what? Um, uh, to, uh, kind of to build up what Anthony <laughs> said, man. Um, I know a lot of our clients, for example, they speak Spanish, man. And sometimes I know that I just think about them kind of like my mom, you know, like my mom, it took her a really long time to pick up like good enough English to be comfortable to communicate. And even to this day, you know, she would prefer Spanish. But she does make the effort, you know, she just has like a thick accent. She's not super comfortable with it. So I just picture there's a lot of people like her, you know, we know that because of our clientele uh, that just prefer to deal in Spanish, man. And I feel like that community right now, it's really underserved um, and they're not being served properly. Right. So I, I think that's really where we're going to come in and make a big, a big splash play there. So it's going to be really cool, man. I'm really excited because like Anthony said, that's part of the American dream, right? Like I know I, I'm f I mean, I don't know if I'm Gen 1 or fucking Gen 0. I don't know the generations, how they work, but I'm the one that came here. And you're, you're, um, you're Gen Echo. Jen Echo. <laughs> Echo in Echo Mexico. <laughs> Echo in Mexico, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be cool, man, to help all those people here that came here. They've been working hard for 10, 15 years, and they're ready to make that big step and buy a property here. Because um, it really is, you know, it's a long-term investment that you can pass down to your kids and, you know, teach them about wealth building and stuff like that. So it's going to be really cool. Um, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of business in Spanish. And Anthony, he, he's really good in Spanish, too. So he, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in Spanish and English. So it's going to be fun, man. Um, I, it's it's just I'm, I'm, I'm fucking ready. He's ready. <laughs> <laughs> who's like, who's the face? most famous DM? Have you ever got a famous DM? Yes. Who? I don't even want to talk about her, and here's why. Uh, so we were vibing too, bro. I swear Wait, to God. Hold on. No. Listen, oh, okay. right, hold on. This is 20. You know what? When the story sounds like that, like, Listen, okay. I'm already smelling cap. <laughs> Janae Aiko. And this no, was you ah! and Pull it up. The, the crazy thing what too. Year? This was before, like, she got, like, big, big. So she was already I big. Don't so need this was just you, had, dude, I don't need listen, you, but she, I want. <laughs> why does every song sound the fucking same? But listen, this was before Instagram changed to their new logo. Like, this was old school Instagram, how it used to be. Hey, bro, DMs like, didn't even exist blue, back then, bro. She used to follow about? me, bro. Like, literally. Like, hey, if DMs you knew me back then, circa 2015, <laughs> DMs, DMs weren't, weren't even a thing, me. bro. Huh? DMs weren't even a thing back then. Bro, it was happening. I'm telling you. It was crazy. But yeah, that's uh, that's why I don't like Big Sean, honestly. He took my girl from me. You were on Voxer, huh? And he cheats on her, too. It's like, what's the point of that? Bro, but <laughs> it was only bro, real, bro, if you had no her on proof, Voxer, bro. bro. Huh? Where's the proof? Bro, I, I'm pretty sure I got a little bit of proof left in there. Let's see it. You want me to just pull this up right now? I do. Let's see. You know, we'll pull them up later on the clips because I know oh, I got these. Swear to God, though, that's probably the most I'm famous person I talked to. All right, so we're, we're going to pop it up right here. So it's either going to be the, uh, a screenshot of the message or it's going to be a cap. It's gonna It'll be, be on there. It'll show you. Like, she used to follow. With another fucking cap. But it's going to be the listen, hat. Honestly, listen, they, it's true. It's factual. I don't know why you guys doubt the Riz. You know I'm just going to tell people. Why do you guys doubt the Riz? We're going to tell people at home. You know what? I'm not doubting the Riz, but it's just like you want some proof. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, we will. Watch. Like, By the time I, you guys I, are watching this, that shit will be down there. It, I believe right you. Here. I believe you, but I would undoubtedly believe you if you show me the proof. And if you don't show me the proof, then I'm not going to. Nate, you just got to tell the people at home before before we go to the next topic, where did you go before you came here? What do you mean? You went to Lids, huh? Wow. <laughs> you guys are pulling the slot. Don't let him finish this. God. Yes. I've been God to use damn it. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I don't know why I deal with you guys sometimes. <laughs> Danny still owes dinner, by the way. Hey, what, throwing that out there. Out? I'm switching this whoa, up right whoa, now. Whoa, 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 
we'll figure something out after. We'll figure something out after. What but no, mean? it was real. I swear to God. I'll show you guys as soon as we get off here. I'll pull up some receipts. It really happened. If you guys knew me back then, like the people that have been on my Insta for a while, you guys know she was following me for a while. That's how my shit started growing a little bit because people would – back then, you know how old this was? That's when the shit you would like would pop up in the feed or – the activity where you can see who what everybody's liking and Damn, shit, you know bro. What? So what that would happen was to be dangerous, bro. Boy. That shit would get you so fucking caught up. Not on me, some bro. Dumb I never shit. did them shit like that. But, but, anyway, but that's how I got a lot of following though, because she know? would like some of my shit, and then I'd get hella <laughs> fucking likes. Literally for like the next day and a half, nonstop likes, bro. It was hey, crazy. Back then, did you always did you did you have a shirt on or off back then? There was definitely a picture with a shirt off, and she <laughs> did like it though, and it's archived, so it's probably still there. Really? Yes, sir. You know what, Mark said that it sounded like you fumbled, bro. And arguably, that could be one of like the most like you would go down in the Hall of Fame of fumbling for that. Yeah, bro, Janet is not that great though f for it to be a fumble. Nah, she is. Fuck, bro. I'm just trying to make myself feel better. Yeah, you're. Why sure you guys do this to me? Like, yes, I'm down already, and you guys are kick me while I'm down. That's you how know, it is. Bro. So, on the topic of celebrities, bro. Did you guys see all the celebrities at the Lakers and Warriors game? I know you're you're a Warriors fan, aren't you? Yes. Like Sad. Okay. Okay. So we do a moment. Let's do a moment of silence for all the Warrior fans out there. So you guys are watching at home. Moment of silence for the Warrior fans because the Lake Show is back, baby. We're moving on. And uh, camera or producer Mark behind the camera. He's uh he was wearing a Warrior. weren't you wearing a Warrior? You, you guys have the Nuggets. It, it's basketball. not going anywhere. This bro. is done. Next next round. I'm might win two games. Bro, LeBron's, LeBron's not losing, bro. That boy it, did pop up though. The, the thing is, everyone always wants to cap on LeBron for not win his, his his finals record, but bro. He gets to the finals. I agree. I'm like, not saying he doesn't. That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you cap on someone who goes all the way, leads their team all the way to the NBA finals? Win or not, bro. He got there. I that's agree. That's the two best teams in the league. Okay, I, um, I kind of spaced out a little bit, you know. My homie. He said I kind of spaced Because this episode is brought to you by Ghost Energy today. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Ghost Energy. I promise you guys, man. 10 out of 10 recommend, like Danny mentioned earlier. Uh, one of my favorite flavors is the citrus mountain flavor man i'm telling you guys it's gonna get you jack like nate it's gonna get you productive like me and uh you're gonna be you're gonna be a-okay man so thank you ghost shout out ghost for sponsoring this episode let's get let's get, let's get back into it man yeah, I'm, I'm back what are you asking about john morant with yet another gun on instagram oh my live god bro the guy he's I don't another know. gun bro after the first one you know what you guys ever seen eight mile <laughs> you guys ever seen 8 Mile and Eminem calls no. out that guy that's not from the hood? That's literally John Morant right now. He's he not up, from the hood. He, he has both parents. parents. In a nice neighborhood. Like, wh why are you trying to act like a thug, bro? Dude, you know what? I, uh, that's a good question. I I, <laughs> I, I I, never really understood that, why he does all that stuff. I think, I don't even have a fucking reason why, dude. It's just like, dumb. Dumb. Dude. I, know, I came over to your house one day. You had a do-rag on and a gun in your hand. Yeah, well, that's he was, he was, he was dancing I'm, at that I'm, Tupac. But I'm not going to fucking on IG Live and flexing it. You know, that's just behind closed doors. So. I mean, that's true, though. Hey, you got to let that thug out, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think it's just that thing, though, like of sometimes you want what you can't have, right? Like for him, his lifestyle is he can't have that lifestyle. Like obviously his public eye and his persona, what he has doesn't allow him to be in that, that lifestyle. So I feel like it makes him want it even more. Then he probably goes back home, sees his boys. If they're uh, living that lifestyle, bro, I mean. Hey, K, what's up, K? <laughs> uh, there was a whole video about that, too. No, it's just crazy. I just, I don't know. Why would you throw that shit away is my point. Well, dude, I feel like maybe, I don't know, man, but I feel like maybe sometimes they, they get to a point where you kind of have everything. And it's like mm -hmm. life kind of loses its edge, you know, because I feel like when you're when you're there, he's financially free. You know, he doesn't really have to yeah. do shit. He could retire, chill. And I feel like when you're there, you really don't have like anything to lose. Like there is no edge to life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I think well, part of it is why it's so, it's so hard to stay competitive in the NBA, right? Because you're getting paid millions of dollars. So it's kind of hard to stay competitive. But the other edge of that is like, I feel like when you're a high competitor and you're like into that shit, it's like Tiger Woods. Like he's the top of his game, but he was doing all kinds of shit with all kinds of women, getting fucked up, driving drunk and all that shit, you know? I think that Shout sometimes, out man, it's like you have like that little bit of a dark side to you that just desires that fucking like that dr like demon rush, time, like that rush, dude. And you can't get the rush anywhere else because you live in an ace neighborhood. You're a multimillionaire. You can have anything you want. You're a fucking great player in the NBA. So like, I don't know. What's though, a rush? Bro, dude? Like, I think for me, I would get a rush driving a Lamborghini living in a badass house in the hills like that. That's what I'm getting. Around. I, I don't need to hold At the gun first, to get a rush. Then you're going to get bored as hell. You can go buy another Lamborghini. Mm hmm. And, and then after your seventh, like, well, that's all right. Go buy Rolls Royce. Switch it up <laughs> a little Rolls Royce. Like, but I, no, no part of me ever wants to like hold a gun and be like, you know, IG Live. Flexing. Bro, I cannot wait till the day you get that thug in you, bro. And you're gonna be out there. <laughs> you're gonna have the bandana on too. Okay. So the real question is, is John Morant ever gonna play an NBA game again? Yeah, I think so. He hasn't really, really done anything to not though. He's had a gun on Instagram Live twice. 
But you didn't shoot anybody or do anything with it. Yeah, that's true. I, I, think I mean, really, what? Like, yeah. bro, we live in like every country looks at us like we're John Morant. Like everybody thinks we're just out here with guns everywhere. No, like, bro, it's that's called, how other countries. It's view called us. a concealed weapon permit, and you hold it in the case in a safe spot, not freaking waving around. He's like black, this. bro. He puts the gun <laughs> sideways. Yeah, I'm gonna exit this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. You can keep going that way. He's you keep going. <laughs> It's <laughs> so all filed down. He doesn't know where he got the gun from. You're going down a road. I can't go down. You know, he so. all bought it all perfect and shit, but then he just wanted to ripe it off so he felt like a thug. Dude, it I, happens, I, bro. I, I, yeah, dude. And I feel like, I don't know, dude. I feel like it has to do with your inner circle, too, you know, because I feel like yeah, if you have a good inner circle, like, they're going to slap the shit out of you a little bit. Like, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? 100%. But, I mean, I can't speak on it. You know, I don't know the guy personally and stuff, but obviously, you know, if he's doing that stuff again, he keeps on doing it. I, I, I think that, like, you have to, yeah, like, Somebody in that circle has to come out and say, be like, bro, like, what the fuck are you doing? Type Honestly, shit, and you know? I know. That's why I appreciate you guys, too, because you guys didn't let me eat that nerds out of that stripper's asshole. You guys are really my dogs, though, for real. <laughs> that could have ended bad. I'm a good friend, bro. Yeah, man. With all this gun stuff, I, I just don't think, I don't know what his end game is, because he's just going to end up in jail. You know what I mean? Kind of like our boy Hasbula. What do uh, you guys think about that? Not, Damn! Let's, <laughs> let's not go there about my boy. You know, I, bro, we I can't, can't, bad we can't him, compare Jaw and Hasbula, bro. You You're right, because you know what? Jaw's half the man. He that has Bula is. He's he's half the man. Even though he's five times a man, he's half the man. Half the man has Bula is. Hey, shout out to the homie. Shout out to the boy. Bro, here's the thing. Bro. So has Bula. How the fuck? First of all, he wasn't driving. I know, but the thing is, that's what happens when he gets bad company after he met with you. Oh. You're hey. the reason why he's in jail. <laughs> wait, I think. wait, wait. So he should have stuck with me. I don't know the story though. Like, how, what happened to fucking has Bula? Like, how? What was the whole process of him getting fucking locked up? So I think what happened was. In Russia or here in America? No, he was over there. Oh, he was so there. him and his buddies got involved in like a big traffic accident where they were like doing donuts or doing a lot of crazy stuff oh, driving around. Sure, the show. And I think they got an accident. The accident, that's what caused the cops. Cops came. He was in the car with them. So all, all the boys, all the homies got Does he need up. to have a car seat? Real question. Bro, why are you being disrespectful? For I'm me? just asking. I think I think in Russia, they don't really care about that. I think here in America, he'd probably have to have that. Bro, he's a man. What the fuck? He's above 18. They don't have seat belts. You think they're going to put an 18-year-old in a car seat? Bro, for his safety, what the fuck? <laughs> well, but you gotta figure, bro. In America, like seatbelts only became like mandated, bro, like in the '80s or some crazy shit. Like, Up until five years, six though, years old. Wait, are seatbelts not mandated everywhere else? Bro, it was like in the '80s where they banned drinking and driving and like yeah. fucking seatbelts and shit. Bro, I'm leaving this country. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Up and out. I go to Mexico. <laughs> you could go what to Mexico. The you, fuck? Fit, you fit in over there, bro. I know. I feel like I could. Yeah, I got like good. a good color on me. You know, <laughs> teach uh, me some Spanish. I got this. Um, another cool thing we got fucking coming up. Um, you know, something can we kind of hinted at, dude. So we're getting ready to have uh, a, a, a really a boxing fucking legend here in Fresno. Um, the boy, the boy. So that one, we're gonna have it at a really cool venue. Um, I don't want, we don't want to, I don't want to disclose. Should we, should we say where we're gonna have it or not? We'll, we'll keep it a secret for now. We'll keep it a secret for now. Yeah. Uh, but it's gonna be a badass venue. I, I don't think anybody else has ever done what we're about to do, though. I'm gonna fucking say that. Oops. Not even Soldier Boy. Not even Soldier Boy. <laughs> um. We might have to fact check, but I did a little bit of research. I don't think so. And I don't think anybody's going to do what we're about to fucking do. I'll, I'll put it that way. I'm going to be pissed if Soldier Boy really did. Because he always does that and shit. You know he what? actually did he somehow. Might, he might have one there. I, I'm not going to cap. But I don't think so, though. Um, so it's pretty unique. It's pretty unique. So uh, we got the boy. Uh, with the next couple of weeks, we just got to dial it in with this team. You know, mm -hmm. his training schedule and uh, the venue schedule. Because they're, they're a big venue. So um, Maybe we're what we should do is we should bleep out the name. All right. So I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to say I we want that to be the, the dolphin sounds, though, no, when we, we bleep we it. I kind of like the duck one. Me, 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 me. What? 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 I want mine dolphin. <laughs> if I ever cuss or some shit, dolphin my shit. What? I just want Hasbulla noises in the background, actually. When we say it. Like what? his laugh and his little whistle. <laughs> um. So anyway, so it's going to be really fucking cool, dude. Like I said, we're about to. We're doing. I, I don't want to say we're about to do. We are doing some shit that nobody's ever done from around these parts dude, of fucking Some town. of the guests we have lined up. I, I mean, the guests, the guests we're dropping next week, this guy's like... The, the the people he's worked with as far as music producing, he's worked with one of the biggest guys. I mean, you guys have probably heard of him. We dropped the name right now. We're gonna we're gonna say the name, but he's gonna bleep it out again. So his name is uh we're dropping him next week. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you guys, man, this guy's the the stuff this guy's done at actually, such a this, young this age. Is, that's I, I don't we don't I don't I, I yeah. wanna stop though. That's a lot of fucking teasing. We actually right got now. a famous model here around town. And it's not so, me. <laughs> yeah. So we, we got that lined up as well. Uh we got a mayor lined up. Had a mayor lined up. We got a mayor lined up. Fire. 
telling you guys, man, we're, we're really, we're really been taking this stuff seriously for you guys at home. You guys always show us love. And uh, if you want to see some more banger guests, man, give us a like right now in the middle of this video. Kind of always motivates us, man, to do some more stuff. And suggest um, some people that you'd want to see on here. If there's anybody that you guys know personally that you'd want to see on here that you think would be a good fit, drop that down below. Make sure you let us know who you guys want to see with us. I'm telling you guys, man, we're fighting for our life. And on the topic of fighting for our life, topic, topic of fighting, Lomacheco versus Devin Haney's coming up pretty soon. And I want to know who, who you guys' predictions are for Devin Haney versus Lomacheco. Well, first of all, I hope I, I hope and I don't think it's gonna be, but it's definitely not gonna be like uh like Garcia versus Tank. That that was fucking embarrassing. Stop. Garcia versus Tank. Wow. Remember when you guys made it seem like <laughs> I was just crazy for thinking that Tank was gonna win? <laughs> I, no, we still have the receipts too. I told you guys Tank was gonna win. We'll pop, I told you. Uh, we're not gonna. So well, here's what we're not gonna. We're not gonna pop up those clips. We're gonna keep. No, we're going. gonna pop up those clips too. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Producer Bro, Mark says it's rigged. It, it, I think it's rigged. Rigged. Listen, Look, listen. I told a, you guys. There was a rat in the camp. The fucking guy hurt he him did, on purpose. He did that to mess with his brain. Bro. That's what you're into. Now yeah, you're into rats, right? Okay. Oh, me all of a sudden. That Listen, sense, okay, bro. okay. You're in, you're in the cheaters. That's like I told you guys who's gonna win. I told you guys didn't believe me. You didn't believe me. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I think that fight, I think that shit was staged, bro. I'm going to keep it a buck. Cap. There's no way, bro, he's trained that long. I mean, I get the gut punch, but I mean, there's no way he's trained that long. He's that prepared. He's that locked in, ready to go. And he takes a knee and he gives up like that. Bro. There's no way. He got rocked. That was a solid hit. By Tank's who? left is hard. By who? When he hit, bro. <laughs> if you <laughs> watch that shit. He got he. Uh, I, mean, okay. I mean, I don't know, dude. Either we way, should do that. Either it's way, respect. dude, it's it was respect. a fucking shitty fight, dude. I'll be honest with you. Like, How it was, was it just, shitty? I didn't watch it, bro. It was, was even boot, a good I fight, bro. Park, I liked it. But it was like Canelo's fight, too. That shit was bootsy, bro. Canelo took off the fucking. He took off the gas pedal, bro. Like, he just let the guy. The guy was rocked for like fucking three rounds, dude. But that was back, yeah. I and he you just guys, sit him up, bro. That shit was embarrassing. You guys should have went to Boots in the Park. Cody Johnson, one of the best country singers right now in the game. Cody Johnson. I'm rocking the wrong shirt, but Cody, I'm, <laughs> I'm rocking, I'm rocking Justin, I'm rocking Justin Moore. Justin Moore's actually really good too, but Cody Johnson, man, top platinum. See, see, you started talking about country, I started yawning. I bro, you, you don't listen to country there, bro. How do you not listen to country? I'm, I'm black, bro. What do you mean, <laughs> bro? Kane Brown, that's not, we don't count him. Darius Rucker, I don't even know who that is. I'll keep going, bro. I thought that was a football player. <laughs> huh? Oh, I I swear to God, I can't with you guys. <laughs> I'm this, a fan of country, bro. That's what we're rocking right now. Freddy, I'm learning now. I can't even, I'm not trusting you no more. Hey, you know what? On the topic of fucking Peso Pluma, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bro, wow. What a segue. What? Wow. Let's cop it up for Dan. What a segue, I bro. I thought yours was good. The last <laughs> one, but this what one a was segue. sweet. God. Wow. Sound effects and everything, huh? You know wow. What? On the topic of Peso Pluma, dude. <laughs> Uh, you know, first of all, he came to fucking Fresno, dude. The guy came to Fresno. If I had flowers, bro, I'd give you flowers right now. <laughs> that shit was but fire, bro. I don't have I'm flowers. not going to lie. I don't have flowers, but hey. what I do have I'm is up. is a ghost energy drink, Thank which you, is better than flowers, <laughs> arguably. Um, But, yeah, dude, so Pistol Plume, he came to Fresno, right? A, a lot of people, it's crazy because he came to Fresno, and a lot of times you don't get those big, big artists that come to Fresno, right? Especially when they're, like, at the peak of their fame, because arguably the Pistol Plume guy... You know, he's fucking, he's, uh, hey, dude, he, we were catching him, like, at peak time, you know, when he came. So, it was super crazy. A lot of people went to the concert. Uh, but there's, like, this big fucking beef with the guy. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard about the, the beef with fucking the Peso Puma has with another artist. Wait, heard about what, that? How, okay, let's hear what, how's he beefing? So, he's having this beef, right? So, that song that really, like, a lot of people argue, like, sent him into stardom is, like, the, the one that I was playing right now. You know what I mean? So, that one. He's actually the feature on that song. That's not really his song. He's a feature on it, right? Okay. So there's this other group, um, and the lead singer for that group, his name is Pedro. And the whole fucking beef is that this Pedro guy, he gave, he went on, like, I think IG Live or TikTok Live, one of the fucking lives, and uh -huh. he had, like, this fucking rant. He had this rant about, like, how he's not getting fucking credit, right? Because Special Pluma, all of a sudden, he's on Jimmy Fallon, like, he's on all these fucking shows. Even though you know? he's the feature. Even though he's a feature. That's crazy. Right? So he's getting, like, a lot of people are glazing him up, dude. And this Pedro guy, he's fucking, like... He's not getting any of the spotlight, right? So there was this whole fucking beef. He was, like, kind of salty about it. He, like, talked about it. He wasn't, like, talking shit or hating. He was just kind of, like, expressing, like, oh, man, it's kind of fucking unfair, man. This guy is getting the credit. I'm not getting shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He was, I mean, he was crying about it. Uh, but I get it. I 100% get why where he's coming from. So it's been, like, a thing. The media has been, like, fucking meat writing that whole fucking, that, <laughs> that whole debacle, dude, for a while. And nobody has said anything, right? Nobody has said anything about it until the Peso Pluma. Um, came out in one of the concerts like recently 
And he was like, like he took a while to fucking kind of address the issue. You know, you've seen that before. Artists, they fucking stop the concert and they address the issue. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So he was like, you know, I don't want people fucking. It's in Spanish. He was like, you know, I, 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 I'm not really about the fucking drama shit. Yada yada yada. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to talk about it here on stage. So he gives credit to that Pedro guy who wrote the song, uh-huh. um, who wrote the song and like, well, it's his fucking song, you know, but he wrote it, he produced it. So he basically did a lot of the heavy lifting. Pesto Pluma was just a feature with the voice in it. So he gave him the credit. It's cool um, he did that though. No, it is cool. It's cool he did that, dude, because he really is getting a lot of fucking credit for it. Uh, I mean, he's a good artist. Not to fucking take any away from the guy, right? He's popping a lot of his fucking music right now. It's like basically everybody's playing. Mm-hmm. He like dethroned Bad Bunny, which is... And that's I hard get, to do, dude. Yeah, and I get why the other dude's like upset about it. But yeah. at the same time, if you put him on a song and he blows up, you should be happy for him, I feel. You know what I mean? You're still getting paid the same way. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's uh, so it's like for me, I'm like, damn, if like like if one of us blew up from one of our other stuff, I feel like I wouldn't be upset about it. It's good. If I win, you win, you win, I win. Yeah, dude. And and so that's kind of one of the things that like everybody's kind of been saying, you know. So yeah, people that were upset at Peso Pluma for fucking going on stage and like Giving him credit because then you get the haters are like, oh, you gave him credit on stage, but you could have fucking gave him credit on fucking Jimmy Fallon or some shit like that, you know, like a bigger, like a bigger fucking. Fuck, like you can't really control what people. Bro, you just can't win. Though, right? I think you just can't win. Mm-hmm. Like even when you do the right thing, they're still gonna look at it and be like, oh, well, he should have did it like this or he should have. Bro, did but it's it like, like a Drake song. Every single song Drake cops on a feature. I mean, I think it's a Drake song. It is. Cool. Well, he does steal it. But that's the whole point of putting him on your song. Mm-hmm. That is exactly. So, yeah, dude, I mean, um, the, the whole shit, it was kind of crazy. Um, it got interesting. So, right now, that just happened. So, we're going to see kind of like the aftermath for it. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, because he literally just went on stage, like, I think a couple of days ago. And it's crazy because a lot more clips are getting released. And on the clips, like, so he has this fucking, like, one line in the song, right? Where, like, that's, like, it's, like, famous. So, uh-huh. I don't know if you guys heard about this song. He's like, bae, yeah. You know so it's mean? like the insta caption everybody Wait, uses dude, what shit. Bang, yeah. <laughs> like that's the fucking lyric, right? And like that everybody loves that part of the lyric and it's so crazy Wait, what does it mean? Uh, beautiful. Oh, thank yeah. you. So uh <laughs> Oh, you're saying what the word meant, my bad. <laughs> so um So there's this clip dude where Peso Pluma and the and Pedro they're in the fucking studio and Pedro's the one that orchestrates it and he's like, "No, bro, give it a little more fucking balls, give it a little bit more juice." You know, and Peso Pluma he's singing the line like mm-hmm. the recording, but he's not quite hitting it and then so he finally gets it how it's in the song. Right, but Pedro, you know, like you can see in the back end, like Pedro was a guy that really fucking pushing it for it to be. A he's summer. really the one orchestrating it, dude. You know what I mean? He wrote it, he produced it, he was in there, kind of like, hey, no, we gotta give it this vibe type of shit. It's so, like when I got knocked out on camera. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, so yeah, dude, it was really fucking cool uh, to see that. So I guess we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see maybe this Pedro guy comes out. Uh, I don't want to say this Pedro guy. Maybe Pedro comes out and gives like a statement on it. Um, but man, we we, we we'll see how. Now how I'm like invested it. in this shit, bro. Yeah, it's cool, dude. It's like a, the Mexican artist fucking thing. It's cool too that finally I think like Mexican artists are getting like recognition. You know, for a while it was Bad Money, bro. They've been. I mean, what what the fuck bro, happened to Ozuna? Money's not Mexican though. But what happened to Ozuna? Bro, he, he's been popping. He was nah, popping though. Like I feel like nah, Spanish music pops Bad Bunny, way I don't further. Even, Ozuna's not from Mexico, is he? I don't know, fuck. I'm pretty sure he's not. He's bro. from DR. Uh, mm. That show was fire though. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the music dude was from like DR, uh, Puerto Rico, um, like oh, all, shit, all okay. those. Because Bad Bunny's just Puerto Rican, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I think it, I you know, kind of like you said on that same note. I think it's just the coolest thing about how Mexican culture is like cool now. Yeah, you know dude. Because I mean? for for context, Special Pluma blowing up for context, dude, is like, it's like if what the fuck was this guy's name? Justin Moore. Like Justin he becomes Moore. a worldwide fucking phenom, right? So like is, the bro. the music that you're listening to is like regional <laughs> Mexican music. So it's the equivalent of country music here in the United States, right? Not everybody listens to country music. Same thing in Mexico. Not everybody listens to fucking. Country or our country music, you know. So it's pretty cool to fucking see the guy blow up, and you know, fucking get put on the on the, on the international spotlight. So it's pretty cool, man. So we'll see how it all plays out. Either way, everybody's winning. Mm-hmm. Mexico's winning. So shout out to the boys, baby. Thanks, TikTok. AI Drake is the best artist out right now. I don't know about you. Guys. Honestly, <laughs> about you guys. bro, he hits. I didn't. I didn't even know it was. I, I fucking was told yeah, you, I bro. Know. AI Drake is so fucking hard. I used to tell my story, and Nate was like, "Bro, you know it's AI." Bro. I was like, "No, it's not." And then he showed me, and I was like, "Oh shit!" But the reason why, because you're it's getting cool. features, like, bro, I'm getting like Drake and Travis Scott. I'm getting like new fucking young thug now. Like, I'm getting more music now, and it sounds hella good. Hey, you know what's my favorite one? Those the sleeper. Ash, Ash, something to you guys. Oh my god, I know exactly what he's gonna say. The, Fuck, the, I knew it. The country Kanye West. I bro. fucking knew it, <laughs> bro. You were just hating on country, but since it's Kanye, but it's fucking Kanye West. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you were just hating. Yes. Hey, yes. That shows you Kanye is the way, my dude. Kanye is the way. Hey, if he gets on, good. If, 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 if you've listened to him, bro, it they're hit. fucking good, bro. bro it hit. I'm not good. gonna lie, but look, I told you, AI music is where the fuck it's at. I'm telling you guys. Hey, dude, that's so crazy. ChatGPT. 
we're so early on it, bro. Imagine like in ten years, bro. You can't. Even, what the dude? Well, think the okay. Think about our first pod. When we we're talking about Chat GPT, and now look how far we are, bro. Oh, fuck. And it's only it hasn't even been a full year. You're right. And this Damn. shit's already fucking up the music industry. They're talking about it's gonna hit like the um, bro, the they, film industry they, too. They took him off fucking Apple Music, bro, because there was a guy like the AI that, guy yeah. that was dropping a lot of bangers. I think I couldn't find them anymore. I think they ripped them off of. They took them off of Apple, huh? Yeah, My thing is like, them. I want to see what the end of this is going to be. I mean, I know, I know, like with this, people are like passing like the bar exam. There's a lot of stuff going on with this AI. So it's like, oh, do, do you fuck. think though? Do you think though, like, uh, like, so even though somebody's coming up with it, like, is that still the lyrics art? and stuff? I think it's dope, bro. I think because the fact that they have the voice sounding that fucking close is insane to me. Well, dude, I just to me, I, 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 maybe some people argue it's not art, but to me, it's kind of like the next level of sampling. I mean, it was bound to happen, you know. I could see that because it's. I mean, all you are you're sampling the artist, their voice, and you're kind of you're still like, for example, the guy that came up with the Kanye West fucking country shit. Mm -hmm. like, he was a country guy, but he probably likes a little bit of Kanye West. So he, he through art through AI, he kind of makes both mediums, you know. And kind They're of fire too. Ones. I'm not gonna lie, he sent that shit to me last week. I've hey, been listening that, to it pretty much Kanye every day. Kanye fucking AI, bro. That shit fucking bangs, my boy. Country Kanye. That's what we need. Kanye, maybe you got to go into country, bro. This is your sign right here. <laughs> this is your sign. Well, dude, the, the biggest fucking hate on AI. Scam. Okay, that's what I was going to ask you guys. Have you guys heard about the scams that's been going around with the AI? Where they steal your voice? They'll steal your voice and they'll call like your grandma. Because, you know, for some reason, grandmas and grandpas like don't know about scams and shit. They'll call your grandparents, right? And it's like you got kidnapped, but it's literally your voice. So if there's a video of you, like us right now, we're on video, right? They could take a sample of our voice and recreate our shit where it sounds like we're talking and then basically make it seem like we're held hostage. Like that shit is crazy. Damn. So think about it too. Like identity theft is going to be a huge thing too. Like this shit's going to be crazy. Hey, you know, what, what I'm thinking, dude, is like, what about, what uh -huh. about you think your risk, <laughs> you think your risk could be multiplied now? Cause you can just like have AI just send like voice. Riz for me. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a good idea. Because you know, like now you multiply. Because now in the time it takes you to like riz one, you can riz ten. Like ten of them, easy. Yeah. I like what you're doing here. I like this. <laughs> yeah. We can use the bad for the good. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> My boy McGregor, he's back, the ultimate fighter, bro. I fuck, bro. I actually. Really, How do you feel about that? It's dope. But Mike's my boy, bro. I love Mike. He's lit. Who you guys going for? I'm a fucking McGregor fanboy, bro. You're I, a fanboy McGregor? I'll fucking keep it a buck, bro. Mm -hmm. Dude, uh, his documentary, bro. Like, I was already a fan, but his documentary, bro. My boy, he literally... Uh, I can't even do the Irish fucking accent, but he fucking... He fucking came out from the uh, from the Irish fucking... <laughs> Fred, yeah, Alex, do the bro. Irish. Fred, do it. Fred's Irish accent is fucking on point. I heard this shit for like five minutes earlier. <laughs> it's fucking, so nice. Yeah, Freddie has really, really nice. good... Uh, what is it called? Uh... Yeah, we're on yeah, the west side. We're actually in the area where that shit will happen. By I think way, that was really a gunshot. That was a gunshot. I'm pretty sure. I think that was really a gunshot on the pod. No, I'm 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 being real, guys. It's called the woods right here. This is like the hood. Like we're shooting this shit in the hood. Hey, I oh, we gotta go. <laughs> so I have a musket in the car. We're good. All right, bruv. All right, bruv. Put your hands hey, up, man. <laughs> Let me load this real quick. Can I make a joke real quick? I'm all right. Can I make a joke, Nate? <laughs> oh, we won't put it in the body, I promise. Can I make a joke? No. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Obviously, we covered a lot of good a lot of good stuff today, a lot of juicy stuff. We broke some news today as far as new stuff we got going on. Broke a lot of news about other stuff that's going on in the world right now. And uh, these are fun, man. If you guys enjoy them, we appreciate you always showing some love. Show some more love. Let us know if you guys like these internal podcasts uh, that we do. We talk about different topics. And if you hate them. We blame it on Nate, man. If you hate him, we blame it all on Nate. It's all Nate's fault. I go by Internate now, guys. Inter I thought we, we blame all. on Internate, man. But uh, yeah, appreciate you always showing some love. Like, subscribe. Anything else? We'll see you guys on the next one, baby. See you guys on the next <laughs> one. See you on the next one. Peace.